Hi guys, back with another video for you today. I'm introducing another new house on the channel. Although I've spoken about one of the fragrances from this house in a few videos late last year, but today I'm introducing a house called Attar Collection and I'm gonna to talk to you about three fragrances from this house. The first fragrance is Khaltat Night, this one right here. And this is the fragrance I featured in two different videos late last year toward the holidays. The other fragrance I'm talking about is Crystal Love for Her, this one right here. And then finally we have Azor. Three different fragrances, really long-lasting Middle Eastern house, and we do have a giveaway as well. We have a full bottle of Azora to give away, as supposedly it's really hyped right now. And then also we've got two 8 mLs of Azora as well uh, for subscribers of this channel from the USA. So if you're curious to learn about Atar Collection, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yeah, today we're talking about Attar Collection fragrances. This is a new house for me. I discovered them earlier last year and they have actually a distributor in the USA that's kind of sort of local to me. So I went and met with them and I sampled all of the fragrances, smelled every single one of them. They had several really great fragrances, but I narrowed them down to these three fragrances and I wanted to introduce the house to you guys and that's what I'm doing today in the video. So last year, late last year, I spoke about Haltat Night as I said so it features a prominent cinnamon note so it was in a cinnamon fragrances video and also an alternative for by Killian's Angel Share but it's uh, an alternative for that and also can be an alternative for uh, Parfums de Marley's Wajan or Ombre Narguile and things like that so the cool thing about the fragrances is they're not overpriced um, a couple of the fragrances today are priced at 130 and we now have designer fragrances that are priced around this price, uh, par price range. So uh, not only it's a great price for niche fragrances, but these are also very, very long lasting beefy fragrances. And then we have another fragrance that's 150 so not overly priced as I said. So why don't we go ahead and get started with Khaltat Night, the first fragrance uh, of this house I'm going to talk to you about. And this is the one that was featured in a few videos. This is a 2016 launch. 100 ml for $130, great price for this, and it's an EDP concentration. And Khaltat Night features notes of cherries, cinnamon, vanilla, red apples, patchouli, and musk. So this is a very unique take on something that smells like Angel's Share, Wajan, Ombre Narguile, all those fragrances that are kind of in that same ballpark but a beefy version of it, and of course, a very fruity cherry version of it. So first of all, I feel like cherries and cinnamon are king in this particular fragrance, and the cherries in here are not necessarily the fresh kind, they're more of that kind of like in syrup or molasses cherries that are in a jammy kind of syrup molasses type thing. So there's a bit of a boozy liqueur-like vibe with the cherries, and uh, it adds a very great, uh, twist to the fragrance uh, creates a, a bit, of, bit of booziness and things like that, but more like a cherry liqueur vibe. But lots of cinnamon in here. It's very, very warm, spicy. In the end, this fragrance is very ambery. Of course, that's that kind of style with that fragrance, ambery a style of fragrance, but this is definitely amped up cinnamon and amped up cherries. Vanilla comes in as well. And here, I feel like you've taken those cherries, drip, you know, put them in a bowl, drizzled it with a ton of cinnamon, and then also drizzled lots of syrupy honeyed vanilla on top of it. Very gooey, kind of syrupy, molasses-y. Mixing it up, then chop some apples on top of it, because there's definitely the fruitiness with the apples in here, and add a couple of other ingredients in here, and you get this really delicious holiday-ish kind of a dessert treat here. And that's exactly what I get with this one. In the end, it's an amber, but very vanillic, very fruity with the cherries and the red apples and of course warm spicy with the cinnamon super fantastic fragrance if you like the idea of um, you know ombre narguile and wajan and angel share and things like that uh, with uh, the addition of cherries uh, definitely check this one out this is khaltat night the first fragrance i'm talking about today so up next, the second fragrance I'm gonna to talk to you about from Atar Collection is uh, Crystal Love For Her. So even though this says Crystal Love For Her, a man can totally pull it off. Uh, the, most of the fragrances from this house are unisex. They do have two fragrances that are specific sex targeted, Crystal Love For Her and Crystal Love For Him. I don't know why they decided to do that, but I guess they decided to do some fragrances that are uh, you know, targeted to a specific sex. But if you're a man and you love vanilla, 
totally get your nose on this because this is a vanilla bomb and it's super delicious. I'm wearing it right now and I smell fantastic. The vanilla is really, really delicious, a bit boozy, but very, very syrupy, gooey, very, very honeyed and, you know, warm and spicy. So this is a 2020 launch, 100 ml, 130 once again, EDP concentration. Features notes of bourbon vanilla, nutmeg, white musk, milk chocolate, rose, fruit cocktail, tonka beans. Very, very delicious, guys. I'm a vanilla fan, absolutely love vanilla and I love wearing this one and actually garnered me a couple of compliments from some folks I knew. They said I smell delicious and they could smell this uh, after several hours of wearing it. It's that kind of a fragrance. As I mentioned, these fragrances are really, really hefty, beefy fragrances. They have great performance and they're robust fragrances. You can feel that they're not thin, you know? They have heft to them. But for me, this is all about the vanilla, lots of it, as I said, re really syrupy vanilla. Powdery as well. We did get some powderiness thrown in here. And whenever I kind of like narrow on the powderiness, I feel like there's a little heliotrope in here. Heliotrope kind of adds a bit of an almondy edge to the fragrance. And a couple of times I experienced that because it was acting a little powdery. But bourbon vanilla, and then lots of nutmeg here. And then just remember in Haltat Night, there was a lot of cinnamon. In this case, we have nutmeg. And for me, the two spices are warm, but they'd stop there because they totally smell different. Nutmeg is not as um, in your face as cinnamon is. Cinnamon, I find to be the king of uh, spice, warm spices, I should say. It's totally in your face and very, very distinct smell. For me, nutmeg is a bit more, uh, you know, subdued. Nut doesn't jump out at you. So it's perfect here with this particular fragrance because it accentuates and adds some spice to the bourbon vanilla, but it doesn't interfere with the vanilla because we don't want that here. If they had cinnamon in this one, this fragrance would go in a complete different direction. So I feel like the nutmeg in here is perfect. In addition to that, the white musk comes in. It's clean musk, totally boosts the life of the fragrance for sure. But you know what else I get here? White chocolate. I'm sorry, not white chocolate, milk chocolate. But I do get a bit of a white chocolatiness in here because it's milk chocolate, not dark chocolate. And they're, they're so different. The dark chocolate is very distinct, has that kind of dark chocolate, uh, you know, quality to it. But milk chocolate, you definitely have a milky presence here for sure, because there's definitely a quality of milkiness running throughout it. But I almost feel like it's not even milk chocolate, it's white chocolate in here. White bottle, white chocolate, I don't know. That's uh, something I got with this fragrance. But in addition to the milk chocolate as well, we do have some rose. But for me, the rose is quite faint. Just like the rose is faint, I get even more faint fruit cocktail here. Supposedly, it's got a fruit cocktail mix in here. It's very, very faint for me. For me, it's about the bourbon vanilla, nutmeg, and kind of like a white musk, white chocolate kind of an effect here. But super delicious. Really love wearing it. I feel like this is a very cozy fragrance, very comforting, relaxing, smooth, wear it at home, comfort it, you know, relaxed in front of a TV or wear it out and smell warm and, uh, you know, gooey and uh, deliciously gourmand. So Crystal Love For Her, again, it is called Crystal Love For Her. A man can totally pull that one off. If you love vanilla, definitely check that out. I think you're gonna like it. And then finally, the third fragrance I'm gonna talk to you about, it's Azora. So when I went to meet up with the distributor, uh, which is somewhat local to me, I first fell in love with this particular fragrance and the way it smells. It's a beautiful fruity floral fragrance, a bit tropical, and just totally takes me to like a tropical, island destination where I'm not necessarily by the beach, but although it does have a little bit of a beachiness, I'm more like poolside next to a lush garden of trees and flowers and fruit trees and things like that. And that's the kind of smell I get with this one. But this is a 2018 launch. This particular fragrance has 100 ml for 150 EDP concentration, features notes of lychee fruit, peaches, floral notes, white musk, bergamot, jasmine, oranges, and woodsy notes. For me, this is not as woodsy as I should think it would be because it does mention woods and the woodsy uh, section of the fragrance is very, very uh, late in the game. For me, it's mostly about the fruits and lots of lychee fruit and peaches. And for me, peaches more stand out than lychee. Lychee fruit to begin, with is not, to begin with is not necessarily really strong fruitiness. So I feel like it really accentuates the peaches in here. Lychee, peachy. <laughs> 
yeah, it creates a lychee peachiness in this particular fragrance where you've got lots of peaches along with that lychee, lychee fruit. But for me, there's lots of flowers in here as well. They mentioned jasmine specifically, but I feel like there's a bit of other flowers thrown in here. Maybe a little bit of frangipani, a bit tropical, maybe a little bit tuberose, maybe a little bit of gardenia, maybe a little bit of lily of the valley or even something like ylang ylang, but it's a cornucopia of floral notes in here. Not necessarily very distinct, but definitely an overwhelming amount of flowers because for me, this is a fruity floral fragrance. And then of course, lots of citruses as, as well. Lots of citruses do come in. The bergamot and orange, sweet and kind of floral. You know, bergamot is a bit floral. Orange is kind of sweet. So really, really beautiful fragrance. And I wore it several times here in uh, the winter weather but I think this is going to shine in the heat of the summer. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna last a long time. It's beefy and robust as it is, and it's gonna make you smell great. You do have to like fruity floral fragrances though. This might maybe lean a bit feminine as well, but I think it's a super delicious fragrance. So this is Azora uh, from the House of Atar collection, the third fragrance I'm gonna to talk to you about today. Do let me know if you're a fan of this particular house. Have you sampled any of their fragrances? If you have, let me know what you've sampled and what you like and do not like. If you've been eyeing the fragrances, which fragrances have you been eyeing? And if you haven't sampled or eyed any of these fragrances after watching this video, which fragrance are you uh, most likely to sample first? Let me know. Put some comments down below so I can find out. And now moving on to the giveaway, we have one full bottle of Azora to give away. This is the most expensive fragrance out of the whole collection, by the way. So one full bottle of Azora and the two 8ml bottles of, I'm sorry, yeah, two 8ml bottles, small bottles of Azora as well to subscribers of this channel from the USA. This is sponsored by the USA distributor of Atar Collection. That's why it's a USA only giveaway. Please let me know what you liked about this video and please let me know which fragrance sounds the best to you. Add a comment below and also add your state otherwise you won't qualify and make sure you're subscribed please. Other than that guys thanks so much for watching today's video on Atar Collection. Let me know your thoughts on the collection. Let me know if you've sampled them. Do put some comments down. Other than that, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.